Hey guys, how you going? Look, we all know it, it's a fact. Batman has the absolute best rogues gallery out of any comic book character, hands down. You could make an argument for Spider-Man, but you'd be wrong. Um, overall, his rogues are the best, the coolest. To why I've got an entire shelf for DC villains in general, and Bat villains, Bat rogues have their own shelf. They're just that special, they're just that awesome. Um, I've been reflecting on the state of, of Bat villains um, for the DC Multiverse line and who we've got in terms of the rogues and who we don't. It's been pretty slim pickings for a while, but this year has been awesome in fleshing out the roster, uh, especially with the Arkham City wave. Um, it, it's been awesome. So I thought I would just go through uh, my Batman rogues collection, um, which I think, um, excluding Batman Beyond villains, which there's one here, but I don't really count these as classic Bat rogues, uh, I think it's, um, I've got every Bat Rogue that's been released. Um, not every version of, of every character, but every character I think has been represented. You can let me know in the comments uh, if I've missed anyone obvious. I apologise, but let me know uh, who I've missed. But uh, here we go. I thought we'd just do a little overview of who we've got currently from uh, McFarlane Toys. Starting from the left, you will see we've got the Arkham City Ra's al Ghul. One of the all-time great Batman villains, probably one of my favourites. This figure is not a great version of him, like, there's so much to love, like, the body looks awesome with the emblem on the front, the tattoos on the arms, but that head sculpt, look at it. That's to me, is not Ra's al Ghul, um, doesn't capture his attitude or um, personality at all, but like, for now, he'll do. Um, you'll see here we've got the Talon with a William Cobb Talon. Pretty awesome. Um, I hope they do the Court of Owls, uh, you know, um, the actual Owl members um, in future. They'd be really good to have. Killer Croc from Arkham Asylum. He's not comic book. Uh, many of these aren't comic book, but I think he's a great Killer Croc, Killer Croc stand-in and, like, you couldn't ask for much better of a Killer Croc, um, in my opinion. Maybe if he had an articulated mouth, but other than that... Um, he's amazing, and you'll see uh, Blight in the background. Ignore him, I, I don't count him as a bat rogue, but not a bad figure anyway. Uh, Scarecrow. Now, there's actually two Scarecrows, uh, three Scarecrows that McFarlane has done so far. Uh, this is from Arkham Knight. Um, he's also done, I'll just dig, duck down here. He's also done Infinite Frontier Scarecrow. You'll see just there, which is really, really cool, but look at this. Look at this figure. Look at that head sculpt. That is the most evil head sculpt I have ever seen. Uh, and he's got just awesome detail. Not much paint, but like the sculpt is just out of this world. Uh, so much evil personality. Um, he's not the classic Scarecrow, but for me, he'll do for now. Like that is just, just amazing. Um, breathtaking, in my opinion. Um, you see, I've got Penguin from Arkham City. Like, not quite the comic book penguin, but close enough. The only thing that makes him sort of not a classic penguin is just that broken glass bottle in his eye instead of a monocle. I wish that was just a regular monocle, but, you know, that's the video game design for you. They've got to be, like, edgy and uh, over the top. Uh, who else have we got? Joker. Now, I've chosen to do the New 52 Death of the Family Joker. For me, he's just, like the coolest and the craziest, but McFarlane has done so many Jokers. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous at this point. Ducking down here to my other villain shelf, you'll see I've got the comedian from Three Jokers um, as sort of my other Joker, uh, but there's many, many more to choose from. I mean, just over here, you'll see we've got the Dark Knight Returns Joker, the Arkham Asylum Joker, the White Knight Joker, the Titan Joker. I've sold some other Jokers. There are just so many Jokers. Uh, he's doing an Infinite Frontier Joker uh, next year, but for now, this is my Joker. Um, pretty cool figure overall. Uh, next to him we have Hush. Now this is the two-pack Hush, not the best version, but um, just generally the Hush figure that McFarlane's done is not that great. Um, the, the closed trench coat really ruins it in my opinion, but it's all we've got for now, so that's it. Deathstroke. Now, as we all know, there is an Arkham Origins Deathstroke uh, that came out a couple of years ago, is now rarer than Hen's Teeth. This is my preferred Deathstroke. I sold the old one. Um, I think this is pretty much just the quintessential Rebirth Deathstroke. Um, don't need any other ones in my collection. I uh, really love that figure, to be honest. One of my favourites. 
And here we have uh, Catwoman. Now I'm just gonna zoom in on Catwoman a little. Uh, look at that head sculpt. So this is not a comic book, Catwoman. This is Arkham City, but look at that head sculpt. She's amazing. Um, yes, she has an enormous diaper. Yes, it looks very bad. Yes, her legs are too long. But if you sort of pose them just so, they don't look so bad. Um, if you sort of bend them, she doesn't look as gangly. But that head sculpt, yeah, she's awesome. She's beautiful, I love her. The only other Catwoman I have is Zoe Kravitz hanging out in the back there. She's good, but you know, not a, not a classic Batrogue uh, design. Behind Catwoman, we have Azrael. Arguably not a Batman villain, but he's here because he was for a hot minute. Um, obviously we've got another couple of Azraels from McFarlane. Um, there's this one here, which is the Michael Lane version. Um, there's a red version of this, the Jean-Paul Valley, which I don't have. Uh, but I do have the Jean-Paul Valley White Knight in uh, Batman armor. Quite a cool version. But yeah, this is what I think of when I think of Azrael. Uh, next to him is uh, Arkham Knight, Jason Todd, as we all know, quite anticlimactically. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool figure. Um, terrible weak ankles, uh, yeah, which really like soured me on him for a while, but the design is good. Like, it's, it's a nifty looking villain for the shelf. Next to him, uh, Bane, which is sort of, we've all talked about it to death. Everyone loves this figure. It's basically Nightfall Bane. You couldn't improve upon him too much. The articulation could be better, but in terms of looks, I mean, that's just it. You, you can't do better than that. It's amazing. Um, next to Bane, we have Solomon Grundy from the Arkham City uh, Builder Figure Wave. Everyone's hating on him because of the scale. He's just too small. Like, and it's true, he should have and could have been bigger. Um, not accurate to the game at all, but he's rad. I mean, look at that design. And, and in terms of what Solomon Grundy is meant to be, which is a reanimated corpse, the scale actually makes more sense. This is sort of a, a more logical scale uh, for me, rather than this enormous behemoth that is just randomly five times bigger than Batman. It's just stupid. But anyway, my opinion, uh, I quite like him. Clayface, um, really cool looking figure, but really boring to play with. You can't do much. Um, his head doesn't move much. His legs are like small and stumpy, but like in terms of a rendition of Clayface, that's pretty classic. Um, this Rebirth Clayface, like you, you couldn't ask for too much more, um, in my opinion. Next to him, Mambat. Now, Mambat would probably be, tied with Bane, my favorite uh, Bat Rogue figure McFarlane has done, except for his ankles. His ankles are appalling. They cannot support his weight. He falls over at the drop of a hat, knocks all my other figures down. I want to scream. Um, I had to apply the slightest bit of super glue to the joint just to stiffen it up, and that seems to have helped a bit. But um, yeah, Man Bat, awesome figure when he's standing up. Um, yeah, like really, really psyched that we got a mega figure Man Bat, honestly. Um, and I think that covers just about everyone. Have I missed anyone? I mean, there's Blight at the back, but as I said, who cares about Blight? Uh, this to my knowledge, represents the entirety of the Batman rogues that McFarlane has done so far. Um, at least one of each. Uh, let me know if I've missed someone. I feel like I might have, but for now, this is my rogue shelf. I'm really happy with it. Um, really need a Poison Ivy. Really need a Two-Face. Really need a Harley Quinn. Um, need a Mr. Freeze, which is coming next year. Uh, it, there's some um, Comic-Con... Uh, announcements and there's some pictures out there floating around. Mr. Freeze looks amazing. But um, yeah, Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, Two-Face, Harley Quinn. They would be the main ones I think that are missing, like the, the real sort of big ticket ones. Talia Al Ghul I think is also, you know, a must. So um, I'm looking forward to getting those hopefully. Um, but yeah, not a bad collection really. I mean, this year has contributed heaps with Clayface, Man Bat, Killer Croc, uh, the Arkham City Wave, you know, Hush. It's, it's really started to, to fill out the offering. And um, it's just a really exciting time to be collecting, yeah, DC Multiverse if you're a Batman fan. Because um, there's just so much cool stuff. Yeah. Well, I hope that's been enjoyable. I hope that's given you an idea for figures you may be missing from your rogues or may want to add. 
Um, if I've missed anyone, let me know and um, I'll catch you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.